Welcome back, guys. So today I got a real quick one for you. I recently reviewed the Poly Mega, and I know it's an expensive device. There's a lot of people who are interested in it and who have pre-ordered it, and it does deliver what it's supposed to do, and I've actually been having a lot of fun messing around with it, but one of the biggest things I didn't like was the included controller. The mushy buttons, the D-pad was just boo-boo. I just don't really like that controller. Some people might not mind it, but for me, didn't like it. So I've been using the PlayStation Classic controller quite a bit, which is a wired controller. And there are a few, you know, different controllers out there that are recognized by the Poly Mega PlayStation Classic, the Retrobit wireless USB Genesis or Saturn controllers, or the wired ones as well. And also the Neo Geo X Gold arcade stick. I haven't had any luck with 8 bit those or anything like that. Maybe in the future they'll do a firmware update to allow the use of more controllers to be implemented in the system. But one that I was so happy to see work is this weird little yoke, 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 PlayStation Classic wireless controller. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work, but the other day during a live stream, I plugged it in, put some batteries in it. Yes, it does take double A's, two double A's, but the thing works and it is a good controller. Don't sleep on this thing if you're getting the Poly Mega. I used this for Neo Geo CD games, uh, a bunch of stuff, right? PlayStation games, obviously, Super Nintendo, PC Engine, Turbo Graphics. I use this controller for all those systems and it's great. Yeah, I'll probably still want to use the Retrobit controllers for Saturn and Genesis, but for everything else, this Yoke controller has been freaking amazing. Now, I bought two of them way back when they were like on sale at GameStop. I think they were like 10 or 15 bucks at the time. And I bought a couple of them. I reviewed them on the channel. I thought they're pretty decent. The thing with these is like, they're almost identical to the original PlayStation controller. The mold is almost the same. Everything feels the same except for the D-pad. The D-pad's a little different. Obviously they have the on off button and the select and starts a little different. The shoulder buttons look the same. The face buttons, just the printing as far as the dots instead of solid lines. The buttons feel the same. And the D-pad does look a little odd, but it actually works fantastically well. I've been loving using this controller. It is an awesome one. Like, don't sleep on it. If you're getting the Poly Mega, I highly recommend grabbing one of these. They're available at GameStop. You can't get them online on GameStop, it looks like, but you can have them, like, picked up in store through their website. You could essentially check if there's stock available where you live. And these things are clearanced out to $2.97. Freaking ridiculous. I just ordered one, another one, so I have three of them now from GameStop to deliver to my home. They charged me like four or five bucks. Cost me $8 and some change. And somebody from like DoorDash, you know, they normally deliver burgers. Dude came and delivered me a controller. I was happy paying $8, I didn't care. I didn't want to leave. I was working on some other things. But if you could find these for three bucks, grab them. I know they're on Amazon for like $15. That's kind of the last resort. If you can get these for three bucks, definitely go grab one. It works great for PlayStation games, Neo Geo, CD, Super Nintendo, all that stuff. It's it's worth having for the price that it costs, and it's a decent controller in my opinion. I'm freaking digging it. It's my favorite one that I've been using for those systems, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. Real quick video. I'll put links in the description straight to the GameStop listing and straight to the Amazon listing. Keep in mind that the images that they use on the websites do not look exactly the same as the controller I have here. I think they may have been earlier like renders where they wound up changing some things, not using the actual Sony button, you know, font. So if you see that and it doesn't look the same, it's still the same controller. It's just their images are outdated for whatever reason. But hey guys, hope this video helped any of you who are getting a system to find a controller that might work well for you. It works great for me. So with that said, guys, really do appreciate it. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom.